Uh, hello. Um, I've just been testing the mods again. Uh, good news is, I, I think uh, it should be okay. Once you go, as you see, to the Mod API Hub website and do a fresh download there with uh, my mods or any other mods you like to use. Uh, you see that this has been updated also 21.2. Uh, which now corresponds with the game version patch, which was somehow 2.9.0 uh, at the last time when I tried, but now... So what you all should do is download the latest version from, do from, <laughs> excuse me, from Mod API Hub, but also I'll show you where you should do that. Before all, clean up the installation that's uh, through steam you go to the the game uh, yeah it's in dutch here but that will be the properties and then you'll have the installed files here where you can oh, the uh, control integrity of game files i suppose it should be translated there but it won't take long first to that then when uh, steam has finished doing that i suppose it will have download uh, a small 1.5 megabytes or something like that should go pretty fast uh, ensure that once you have done the cleanup with the integrity control in steam uh, just to be sure go check also if when steam has finished uh, again, uh, that's the uh, to go to the the installation folder. Uh, I, uh, that's this option. There you can see, for example, logs deleted, mods if it would be the deleted. Normally, after the Steam has done the integrity control, those shouldn't be there anymore. But if they would be, just check it out if then delete them manually. Same thing for uh, the managed folder. If there would be still any of the mods I've been testing, <laughs> that's why they are still, they, they are here. Uh, just delete them. There's also the base mod lip, of course. All those should not be in the data folder managed anymore uh, once you've done the steam integrity control but always go just to be sure that everything is okay here there is, isn't any mod api related file nor any mod related folder within the, the installation file so this should be your uh, first thing to do then when you have done it or you can go to your uh, downloaded uh, installation file from mod api uh, i'll just go through how you do that in our case it will be green hell uh, you can make a selection here load more uh, i'll make the selection of all my mods who are that are currently available on the mod api unchanged I've done a few modifications on a couple of my mods, but those are mostly uh, to make them all have the same look and feel and stuff like that, but nothing related to uh, bug solving uh, on the other versions. So I'm going to download now. Mod crafting, yeah. It's not in alphabetical order but i'll manage it's uh, on popularity or download uh, mod and any of my mods they have followed the same nomenclature mod yada 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 <laughs> mod tools mod shelter mod manager mod manager very important if you do not download i think none of my mods will work <laughs> So if you like using my mods, be sure to, 
to download at least the mod manager which uh, has a dependency on all my all my mods i mean has a dependency on the mod manager just uh, to avoid grieving and cheating however you would call that but mostly for grieving continue with my selection mod teleporter mod hunter mod miner i haven't tested any of the, those all those i just tested mod shelter uh, mod tools after i was already changing some stuff and mod manager so i do not suspect expect to have any issues now but never say never in ict anyway mod farmer i <laughs> just hope that uh, yeah we'll see my time mod ai i will just open it up and see if anything will go wrong because there are uh, uh, a couple of mods uh, with many features I've made already, so that would take too much time. But this is clearly just what you would all have at this moment uh, available through the hub. So I'm just like you guys now. I'm gonna test this shit. <coughs> Excuse my language. Uh, this uh, mod head. The mod achievements, uh, yeah, that's the only one I know. Community tools, which has a special name. Uh, it was my first time. Give me a break. Uh, so, uh, I think I have them all now. All those mods are great, you know. It's uh, see, I just want to test if it works still with my mods. You know, yeah, I guess I have them all. So good download. There we go. Upstanals. In the downloads folder. Why not? Oh, in my case, I have my user configuration file from the installation from Mod API already. I backed it up. Don't forget to do that if, in case you need to make backups of your own uh, project files, perhaps when you are making any mod or something like that anyway it's not a big deal if you forget it's only it will be quickly recreated but you have to do the full setup again from once the first time you open up mod api it will ask to browse to the game directory uh, of the game green hell then you select the gh.exe i think and then it will configure that file uh, next to all project projects, it will find in the installation folder of mod API itself. So I have done my download. Okay, there it is. You see, that's my config file I had uh, the backup from. So now I'm gonna going to install, uh, <laughs> just unpack it. Um, and place it wherever you want to, but in my case, I place it in data uh, workspaces within this one. And yep, I will say uh, overwrite, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to show that I'm using the same uh, download file you would use. <laughs> I really hope it will <laughs> work. Uh, I will re put my file here there we go uh, no. uh, let's try it out yeah, close so exe file <laughs> I started up my API uh, there we go so you should be able to check settings, Steam connection, search for updates, skip versions, this is an important one, development, well, if you're a developer, but uh, this will be your user one shot, because if you, you, unless you change your mind of certain mods but once you select one and start the game those mods will be, you do not always have to start the game using mod api once you launch it 
the first time everything is okay you can launch the game afterwards without using this interface uh, if you understand so just to show i have my mod manager that are enabled mod quick equip enabled there's always the, the configuration of the shortcut keys uh, let's see uh, this uh, oh yeah uh, mod tools and a uh, mod shelter but mod shelter i've made some modification but this is the download i hope <laughs> it will be okay but i suppose i will see this is keep eight keep at one mod manager mod quick equip i'll be using mod shelter and mod tools uh, yeah just start with these uh, then once you've done you've configured the uh, quickies start the game let me see uh, yeah that's what i said <laughs> that's because uh, i've made some changes that are not represented here uh, that would be not the case in when you do the same as me i've had some other files ready uh, let's see what is he so you see there's a uh, dialog file within one api yeah i suppose that will be the issue um, yeah well, can close can close did he override my let's, let's close it again uh if if still i uh, seem to have if issues then i will first upload my updates i did but normally it should be okay with you guys uh, but it's annoying <laughs> in my case what did i ever get here uh, yeah yeah it's closed now just did download and zip yeah uh wait maybe yeah I guess in the library is here. I need mod manager. Yeah, it's in there. Hmm. And what's in the mods? Downloaded. Ah, okay. That's strange. Maybe that's due to. Uh, I just did. Uh, I need to do it again cleanly this time, I suppose. Uh, I did something wrong by just unzipping it <laughs> not to self uh, so what will i do just delete everything again with my projects those i will put quickly there <laughs> ah what which one? Oh yes yeah, of course blah 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 <laughs> oh, uh, let me close this that could be also have been the case, uh, the cause of the problem, but let me continue and retry this. So let's forget I did the download. Now I've made my backup. I do my backup for my projects. Uh, there we go. My config files, my config file. Uh, there we go. Delete all this. Yep. And now I go back to the download file, open it up, and then I install in workspaces. Let's see what that gives. Maybe I still have an issue, but I don't so. I don't think so. It's really a new folder now. I just put it. Uh, you open up a new. Why did he do that? Right. Anyway, let's continue there. Uh, there we go. Workspaces. And edit. And let's put back my project file. Uh, 
Uh, yep. And also, you have configuration. There we go. I suppose this should be up here. If not, it will be, could also, can only be related now to my configuration or something like that. Because that's the only thing I changed now. But the fresh projects should, should be okay. So, let's check. If I can build, I have the 3.3 .3 here available, but not yet built. And I saw uh, changes, but that's uh, maybe to avoid. Uh, mod manager is also already for zero already, but in my download, it's all still the, the version you should have without any changes. That was yeah, that's correct. I don't see any changes. That's 3.2. Let's see if this will work or start or anything else. I, I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, I so know that should be the yeah. You see, that's the, how you guys would have it. Uh, I suppose even here it crashes. That's weird. Freaking weird. Anyway.